Hi and welcome to video 2 where we talk about what software should you create. Or in other words, how to create a software idea. Before, before we want to jump in and talk about how to create a software idea, I want to give you some tips that you can use to elaborate on that software idea. First things first, you're going to need to know your target audience. Who are you going to reach? Who's going to want to buy the software? What type of person? Their niche, you know, what kind of topic or subject matter? And then you're going to want to know, you know, who you're dealing with. Are you dealing with newbies, technical people, experts? You need to know your audience. Then you need to know their wants, their needs, their desires, and the problems that they face. Now here's a simple, simple trick. If you understand this, you will be able to create tons and tons of software ideas. Problems equals solutions. Solutions have some sort of action. A lot of software are created or derived from problems that people have. Because think about it. Problems that people have, you can solve that by creating a simple software. Now, when I, when I say problems, do not think of something like, oh, somebody has anxiety attacks. Those are not the problems that we want to really solve in a software. Unless you're producing a software that maybe gives tips and advice for people who have anxiety attacks. What I'm thinking here is this. For example, let's say, for example, that you want to create a PDF file, but you don't have a software that can do that. Well, as a software creator, you could go out and create a software that turned a specific document into a PDF file. So what you've done here is taken a problem and created a solution by a specific action. That action is turning a document into a PDF file so that the user can have a PDF file. Now, you do need to be realistic as far as cost, though. If you're going to hire somebody to do that, that would cost you a couple hundred dollars to do, or I mean a little bit less. So it really depends on the software idea itself. The simpler your software idea is, the cheaper and the lower cost it's going to be. That's just something to keep in mind. So you can't expect to pay $50 for something that really costs a couple thousand. But I will say that you can find programmers who are willing to do a couple thousand dollar job for $500 or less. But you need to know how to do it right. So that's why I say take a problem, create a solution, but create a simple solution, some sort of action. Now, before I actually want to talk about how to find cool software ideas, the three little tactics that you can use and by far it'll save you a lot of time these three tactics are very very easy to use in fact I will be able to show it to you in less than 10 minutes but before I talk about that I want to give you a real life example so that you understand the whole process I created a software a while back and I want to show you as an example you know target audience, how you take problems and turn it into actions, just to give you an idea of what you can do yourself. Now let's talk about the cool software idea tactic number one that involves watching a how-to video. Let's go ahead and do that. How-to videos. So what I want you to do is go to youtube.com very simple easy method to use your goal here is basically to go to YouTube and find how-to videos so what I want to do is start out by typing in how-to and just I would just look through the different how-to videos now you gotta keep in mind that a lot of these how-to videos are indeed dealing with you know stuff that you can't make a software into but if you think of a topic 
put how to plus some sort of keyword and generally if it has to do with something technical with like like a website for example I'll just use Clickbank how to Clickbank then you're going to be able to see lots of how to videos you know how to this how to post Clickbank hop, hop links in a blog you could create a software product that does that you could go through you know how your Clickbank commissions get stolen maybe you can create some sort of system that protects people how to set up a blog for affiliate marketing you could create a software that might create a blog automatically on the fly and add a bunch of affiliate things to it maybe a affiliate WordPress affiliate plugin how to make a Clickbank sales page you can make a software that creates Clickbank sales pages so that people enter a bunch of information and it creates a Clickbank sales page So as you can see, you're getting an idea of how to create a bunch of software ideas. Now, what I recommend doing is doing that, watching the video, see how it works. I could even do how to eBay or eBay tips, you know, eBay tips. Finding hot products to sell on eBay. You could watch that video, then you can turn it into a piece of software that goes out and finds hot products to sell on eBay. You could e create something that creates eBay landing pages very easily. Misspelling search tool. You could figure out how to find eBay misspellings and create a search software. Add video to your listing or add video you know to your web page you could create a software product that helps people add video to their landing page fairly easy especially for people that don't know HTML or don't know how to put the video onto their web page so as you can see you've got so many ideas on how to information now let's look at the cool software idea tactic number two. It's very similar to number one's tactics, but in this case, you're going to read a how-to article. And it'll take you less than five to ten minutes to do this. All right, so I would recommend that you go to easingarticles.com, and I would also recommend ehow.com just in the similar and with the watching the video this is very similar to that but what you're dealing with is articles so you have a larger amount of how-to information so what you could do is find a niche for example investing let's say stocks or or insurance you could maybe you could make a piece of software for a specific niche for example insurance brokers you could make a piece of software for insurance brokers that helps them in a specific area you could go to the real estate area you could create a piece of software that helps realtors sell their houses better you know you could go to home-based businesses you can go to writing and speaking create copywriting tools take a basic let's say okay copywriting here um, what you do is you read, you know, how power words and ads, how to write effective copy. Maybe you could create templates. You could create a copywriting tool that creates software copy. So as you can see here, you, you've got pretty much a, a limitless, unlimited supply of ideas. So as you can see here, you can pretty much create a software around any niche and I will say that sometimes if you create a software product around a specific niche of a high demand area 
then you can do very, very well. But of course, you have to do the proper keyword research. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just getting into the idea creation and software creation. Another thing, health and fitness. You could create a software product that allows people to record maybe their fitness, maybe their cardio, maybe their caloric intake, how much they're eating. You know, you could turn it into a free site. There's a site called myfitnesspal.com that I use. It's a great site. It's a free site. It allows you to keep track of your calories that you're taking in every day. So as you can see, you can take an idea like that and turn it into a free service, some sort of advertising model. So there's so many things you could do. And you learn by reading how-to articles. eHow is another good site to use. Go to eHow. You can go to different sections. Just keep in mind that you how to cut your way through a healthy lawn. You're probably not going to want to turn that into a piece of software. You probably want to take stuff that is technical and stuff that you can create a software product around. For example, running a business. Maybe you can create some sort of software that helps people run a business in a specific area better. Last but not least, the cool software idea tactic number three, which involves searching forums, chat rooms, bulletin boards, things like that for complaints. Remember I talked about problems equals solutions. Solutions have some sort of action. That's why forums and chat rooms are great places to look through. What you can do with this tactic is to go to google.com and search for forums, chat rooms, things like that, that relate to a specific niche that you want to get into. And I will tell you this, if you find a niche that you are familiar with, generally it's easier to create a software product around that because you're more passionate about it for one, and second of all, you know the material better so you can create a lot more software ideas or features that can add on to your existing software product. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go to the Warrior Forum because I'm an internet marketer, so I'm going to go to the Warrior Forum. So now that I know the name of the site, I go warriorforum.com. And I do plus, in quotations, put some sort of keyword. So in this case, I could put something like problems. So what I could do through here is go through these posts and figure out what problems do these people face. Then I can go about doing other research to find if there is a high demand or not by using Word Tracker and other free keyword tools. Another thing you could do is type in forum plus keyword problem. You could also replace that word problem with other things like complaint and other things like that. So as you can see it's very very easy. The point of this is just to find problems that people are having in a specific niche. And then turning that problem into a solution, into some sort of action-based software. 